If you're looking for a place to experience the best of North Carolina, beautiful coastal scenery, rich history, the arts and science, one visit and you'll understand why they say Elizabeth City has it. Now you'll find these things year round, but one of the best times to catch them all is every first Friday night. Friday Night Art Walk is the biggest thing in Elizabeth City. We like to think that anyway. Highly social evening, and it involves downtown businesses, studios, galleries, and arts organizations. It's each first Friday of the month, and it's hosted by the entire downtown. So it's a night to celebrate, to be with your friends and neighbors, and to enjoy the arts. For most visitors, the Friday Night Art Walk begins right here at the Arts of the Albemarle. You're going to pick up one of these. It kind of outlines all of the things that are going on. And inside, there's a reception, plus lots of great art. Each month, our gallery changes. Every single month, there is one artist that is featured in our main Jenkins Gallery and another in the 516 Gallery in the lobby. Tonight, it's Margie Sawyer. And Margie is one of our original studio girls one of the original artists who started the Pasquotank Arts Council, which was the precursor to Arts of the Albemarle. And in the lobby was studio artist Catherine Wasink, who gave me insight on her fascinating fiber art, using needle felting, applique, and pulled thread embroidery to create an effect. This one is a, a wave celebrating the spirit of the Outer Banks, Jockey's Ridge, and it's such a wonderful feeling of life on the Outer Banks, and I wanted to express that so I had the wave spewing confetti to celebrate. Friendly neighbors have made Elizabeth City well known as the harbor of hospitality. But now there's so much more to see and do, they say if you want it, Elizabeth City has it. Has it is a really important consortium. In the four blocks right here in the downtown area along the waterfront, we have three cultural institutions, history, arts, and science. History is framed at our Museum of the Albemarle, which is a regional museum of history. Then we have the arts, of course, here at Arts of the Albemarle. We're a regional arts partner with the North Carolina Arts Council. And then the S is science. Science is Port Discover, which is a children's interactive science center, and it's the only one east of Greenville. So it's purely for children, and they do have other activities, but it really focuses on the kids. The First Friday Art Walk is a perfect time to explore what Elizabeth City has. Enjoy a street-side artist demonstration, plop down and pluck out a tune on this piano on Main Street that says, Play Me, decorated by local artists, or drop in on a workshop for the local children's theater. These kids are the center players, and an impromptu audience is a great excuse for them to really ham it up. There are also lots of businesses open late for visitors. Families will love page after page, a cute little bookstore with a big variety of gift items. From there, I had to step into a store just for ladies. Shea Leslie Boutique is celebrating 20 years in business, so she knows what women want. You'll find party dresses, accessories, handbags, even shoes, much of it made in the USA. I also visited another really neat space, two and a half women. Now this place is not just for girls, but it is hard to describe because inside you could find just about anything. Two stories of antiques, home decorations, furnishings, and just look, a collection of vintage Barbie dolls. Another eclectic store you just have to stop by is the Pascatank Trading Company, located on the other end of Main Street in the lobby of the historic landmark Southern Hotel and apparently a popular attraction for those into steampunk. It's a kind of 19th century science fiction. From furniture and home accents to children's clothes, handmade jewelry and pretty handbags, it's just a lot of fun to walk through this store. And while you're on this end, you can get to a couple of places the guys will like. Also inside the Southern Hotel is Floor to Ceiling, an interior design house that carries furniture and design elements that remind you of restoration hardware, but they're local and also specialize in repurposing. This couch was actually once a bathtub. Can you tell? 
We like um, taking what other people might consider throwaways and uh, recreating them. And we sell a lot of uh, chalk paint, uh, chalk and clay paint here um, that uh, we really love using. We teach workshops, um, teaching others how to use that. Tonight is also their monthly wine tasting, usually a sampling of a North Carolina or Virginia wine from their shelf. Now, if you've made it this far, you've made it close enough to a gathering place downtown famous for insanely robust hot java and a laid-back atmosphere. At Muddy Waters Coffee House, they roast the beans on site, so every cup served from regular coffee to espresso, cappuccinos, lattes, and more comes from the freshest coffee beans. By the time First Friday Art Walk wraps up, it's time to grab a bite to eat or take another stroll along the Pasca Tank. Whatever you want to do, Elizabeth City has it. For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Deborah Holt-Noel. The First Friday Art Walk downtown Elizabeth City takes place year-round and starts at 5.30 p.m., going until around 7 o'clock. For information about participating businesses and events, go to ecdowntown.com slash first dash Friday dash art dash walk. Or you can call 252-338-4104.